All right, welcome back to this video. And today I want to show you a couple of completely free alternatives to ChatGPT. So I would have to imagine if you're watching this, you are a user of ChatGPT. And of course, most of you are probably using the paid version. Now the paid version gives you access to some of these additional models, which have some bells and whistles. And of course, the newest releases right now are O3 Mini and O3 Mini High. So we will make another video to talk about these models. But for right now, I want to show you how to basically get the majority of the functioning here completely for free. Now, both of these new models or uh, companies, I should say, are Chinese companies that have dropped open source. It basically means you have access to the files and so forth, but they do not charge for their equivalent models. Number one is called DeepSeek. Now you can get access to it by deepseek.com. And of course, once you create a login, then you will move to the chat interface and you can see that this looks almost identical to ChatGPT. It looks pretty much the same, so it's very easy to start using this one. Now it has a lot of components to this, but obviously on paper, it uh, has beat some of the previous models of ChatGPT. For most people, it's not gonna matter too much because the big differences are usually in when it comes to thinking and reasoning at deep levels and of course, writing code and so forth. But for the majority of us, it's not gonna make a huge difference. So with DeepSeek, we have this access here to DeepThink R1. You could see that it assists with solving reasoning problems. So it basically has a thinking process. And the cool thing about DeepSeek, when you type in any of your prompts, you can actually read through its thinking process to understand what it does based upon your prompts, which is a really good learning tool. Number two, it does have access to the web, so we can click on that when we type in anything. And of course, we can type in, we want the deep think as well. And just like ChatGPT, we can type in our prompt. And of course, we can upload certain files as well. So very, very simple and straightforward. So this is the first free option. Now, literally within days of DeepSync uh, launching and uh, to free to the public, we get access to another version that's from a, another company called Alibaba, and it is called Quen. Quen uh, Chat, where it's called quenlm.ai is the URL. Now this one is also quite exciting because it has a number of features that DeepSeek does not have. So when you go up here, you'll see that there are multiple options in terms of models that can be used. Uh, some of these are quite interesting to tinker with, complex tasks. We have the uh, Quen 2.5 Max, which is the most powerful language model. You have one also that has smart, large vision language. Okay, so it can identify um, images and so forth. So with the Max, you can see down here, we have access to some of these similar functions, not gonna go through all of them, but artifacts in particular, very common um, with uh, Claude models. Again, web search, we have access to this as well. We can do image generation with this, which is awesome. And again, this is completely free and we can also generate videos. So this is pretty awesome. So you use here two examples. A painter is applying paint to the canvas with a brush and the colors are gradually becoming richer. So that was the prompt and you could see that it generated this video. Okay, and they also did one here of an elephant. Very, very cool stuff. You can also uh, change the ratio of the video, which is phenomenal. And we also have access, of course, to uploading documentation. And we can upload image files to certain models. In this case, the 2.5 Max does not support that, but the other models do, okay? So these are two completely free alternatives. And at this point, I'm if it weren't just for making these videos, uh, I would pretty much dump the $20 a month chat GPT uh, price tag every single month or charge on my card and just stick with uh, Quinchat and DeepSeek as they are really, really adequately, if not better, uh, getting the job done than chat GPT. So give these couple of models a try, see which ones work for you, see if you get better outputs for all of your different AI-based tasks. And of course, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think of these videos, what you're looking forward to, and of course, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.